Hi, welcome again to Paul's Playing Cards. In this episode, I'm going to be reviewing a deck that's really close to my heart. It is the Hops and Barley deck from Joku, or Joku, however that's pronounced. Now, little known fact about me, back in the early 2010s, along with a really good lifelong friend, I ran a small brewery in County Durham with him. It was called the Gambling Man Brewing Company. If you want to uh, Google us, I'm sure there'll be something in the annals of history. So I was really interested in straight away from a brewing point of view, but also because brewing quite literally went into this deck. So to tell you a little bit more about that, let's dive right in. So here are the Joku Hops and Barley playing cards. Let's have a quick look at the Tuck case first of all. So there are three varieties of this particular pack of cards. There's the Pilsner, which is in light blue. There's this one, which is the Dark Amber Ale. And there's also, for a slightly higher price, the Special Edition Copper, where there's some lovely copper foiling on these uh, coppers, as they're actually called. So the card itself is this um, is, is this brown cardstock. It's a matte cardstock, and it is also embossed with this white uh, raised print. Really, really pretty tuck box. I really like this. It's very, very neatly designed. Let's look at the front. Nice uh, logo there for Hops and Barley. You've got this kind of Art Deco sort of semi border i've got some stalks of barley down the bottom here and some hop binds or hop garlands going around uh the hopper the hoppers <laughs> the copper hop kettles as well as two uh beer uh, beer taps dripping beer um i think that's a really pretty design I'm i i really like that if we look on the back we have the card uh, the card design or the card back design so it's a bilinear design uh the same both ways Again, beer taps with beer, some hops there, and some barley stalks. And again, with this beautiful Art Deco style uh, border. And on either side, you have Made in Europe. Hops and barley. And you have the ad copy there for Joku. Now, it says here, designed by Joku playing cards, which they were. The cards are printed by Cartamundi at their European plant. Uh, it says the tuck boxes are made in Italy. Now, what really attracted me was, uh, when I was reading up on these, the tuck box is made from recycled card, but it's also made from recycled and pressed spent brewery grains and hops. Bit of an agent hippie myself, so anything with recycling uh, and putting back, uh, I'm absolutely there. One last word on the tuck box, it is internally printed. So you have these two uh, kind of rosettes here and a rosette uh, on the top of the, of the tuck case. Uh, no tuck case label. I'm quite pleased about that because it might, might spoil it a little. But there is a full internal printing on the tuck box. That is beautiful. I really like that. Now let's have a look at the cards themselves. So first off, let's, uh, as we always do, a quick word about cardstock. Uh, these are B8 linen finishes uh, from Carter Mundi. And reading up on this on the internet, the, you know, this seems to be a cardstock that really devise, uh, devises fans. Uh, some hate it, some love it. I really like it. It's a nice slimline cardstock and it handles absolutely beautifully. Uh, really beautiful glide, no problems at all. Uh, looking again at that card at that card back, so it is the same, although it is sort of uh, in a much sort of deeper red. So there are, uh, in total, we've got, I think, uh, so there's 55 cards. 52 uh, playing cards, two jokers, but one extra ace of spades. So let's have a look at the ace of spades first. A really nice sort of uh, beer and brewing related design with some barrels on there. And then there's the second ace of spades with more colour. So that could be done for various uh, magical effects, colour changes, etc. Now the pips themselves have a very basic uh, but unusual design of these, uh, of these downward stripes. And if we look at the court cards... Uh, the, the faces are quite nicely done in line art. I haven't seen these exact copies before, but there obviously we have a jack. We have um, a queen. Now the queens tend to have some brewing ingredients with them all through the deck. So we've got some barley stalks here. Uh, the king of spades there who doesn't have any. And here we are with uh, the kissing kings. Uh, the queen there has some, uh, has some corn or some maize. And if we go all the way through, let's have a look. Uh, and she has what look like some juvenile hops there. Uh, jokers, uh, two jokers, again, one in black and white and one that's coloured, both with a, a, a beer and brewing motif. Again, if you know how to do a top change, double turnover, etc., you can do some nice little, uh, nice little changes with those. For an ex-brewer and someone who loves playing cards, I absolutely adore these. 
I really do. These are one of the, these are in my, I would say in my top 10. Uh, and I'm certainly going to be going out and getting the rest of the cards in the deck. So let's have a look at what scores we give them. But that's just what I think. What do you think? Please drop a comment below to let me know. And also, if you can, it would be a massive, massive help if you could like and subscribe to this channel. It all makes a massive difference. So until next time, shuffle up and deal, and I'll see you at the table.